While Disney Plus's Premier Access was originally received as a clever adaptation to COVID-19 restrictions, controversies around this new release model have begun to surface. With Black Widow star Scarlett Johansson announcing her lawsuit against Disney, discussions surrounding the effects of Disney Plus's release model have been front and center, but the Marvel film is far from the streaming service's only controversy. After Black Widow's release on July 9, Scarlett Johansson announced that she would be filing a lawsuit against Disney over the film's hybrid release. Delayed from its original May 2020 release date, the first film of Marvel's Phase 4 was released in theaters and on Disney Plus Premier Access simultaneously. The lawsuit alleges that Disney broke Johansson's contract by not giving the film an exclusive theatrical release. Johansson's pay relied heavily on box office profits, with promised bonuses if benchmarks were reached. The lawsuit states that Disney intentionally prevented her from receiving these bonuses, potentially costing the actress up to $50 million. Black Widow made over $80 million in the box office on its opening weekend, and another $60 million through streaming, all money that purely profits Disney and not those who work to create the film. Disney released a response to Johansson's lawsuit, stating it complied with the agreements set in Johansson's contract and that her response was sad and distressing. After news of Johansson's lawsuit broke, it was revealed that Emma Stone, the star of Cruella, was considering following suit on suing Disney. Cruella, which was released on the same hybrid track as Black Widow, faced disappointing numbers in the box office, likely because many flocked to Disney Plus premiere access over the theater. Cruella pulled in $26.5 million in its opening weekend, in that same time span, the film was estimated to have garnered over $20 million. With so much money being siphoned directly into Disney's pocket, instead of going through the traditional box office avenue, it's likely more Disney stars will begin demanding their fair share of the profits. Currently, there has been no confirmation on whether or not Emma Stone will be taking legal action against Disney. Jungle Cruise is the most recent addition to the Disney movie lineup. Based on the Disney theme park ride, the Jungle Adventure film features big names like Dwayne Johnson and Emily Blunt. Despite concerns over the Delta variant keeping viewers from the theaters, Jungle Cruise managed to bring in $30 million in its opening weekend, and almost just as much through Disney+. The film was released on the same model as Black Widow and Cruella, which is why many speculate it may be the next film to cause some controversy. While Johnson has reported that he has no intentions of suing Disney over any potential losses, some have predicted that Blunt may be the next to take on the House of Mouse.